A larger than life Saints fan like Bobby Harper sticks out. It's hard to miss a six foot seven inch tall man with a big red beard. He never wanted to miss a moment at the dome. There for every home matchup with his Drew Brees game day jersey, you could say that dedication comes from his parents. We bleed black and gold. They're big on tradition. We all have our game day attire. We don't change it. We wear the same socks, we wear the same shoes, same blouse, everything. But one thing would not stay the same this year. Bobby, an ER nurse, died in January. He was on his way to help a coworker who was stranded when he was um, killed in the car accident. The pain is real and it's still fresh. What gives them comfort is this, his beloved Drew Brees jersey. They bring it to every game. It sits on his seat. There'll be times when I'll just hold on to it and I'll just clutch it to my chest. His mom packed up the jersey at the end of Sunday's game in her clear plastic bag and headed out. But then it was gone. It was so crowded walking up the stairs. I, I just think and assume that someone took it out of the bag. If that's what happened, the Harpers want whoever has it to know its true value. Still has his, his smells. We know he wore it at every game. So it would be great to get it back. It would mean the world to me. They realize it's like looking for a needle in a haystack and say if they don't find it. Well, maybe that was Bobby's way of saying, no, I'm going to stay here. They say Bobby has a new seat now, watching from up above. In New Orleans, Nikki Davidson, Eyewitness News. Well, the family does believe that the jersey was taken near their seats. That was section 119, rows 13 and 14. Now, the Drew Brees jersey was an extra large, and as for the Saints, they are reaching out to the family to offer a new jersey signed by Drew Brees himself.